Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Some of you likely saw the story either this week or a week or two ago when the company Funko, who also recently laid off a number of the founders, or maybe not founders, but the core members of the Mondo poster collectible team, which many people, including myself, have loved their output over the years. Those people are now laid off. And also as part of that restructuring or whatever companies are calling it now, they also said that they were going to be landfilling, shredding and destroying or just dumping nearly $30 million worth of Funko Pop collectibles, which I'm sure most people know what they are. If you've never necessarily heard the name, you've probably seen some of them around. These little plastic figures that are generally all pretty similar in how they appear, but are pop culture things. So we actually have a few of them here. I've never been a huge fan of them in general, but there have been these ones here and there that I thought were kind of neat. The ones that had sort of a different look and weren't just essentially the same ones over and over as printed with the same thing. And I've gotten them as gifts and that type of thing. So we probably, I'm looking, have less than, I don't know, we have seven or eight of them maybe. And So when this was announced, a lot of people rightly criticized it as a tremendous waste. And now video has surfaced, which I've linked to as part of the show notes for this episode, showing these things being dumped after, in some cases, being shredded. I I think they did say some of them would be recycled. So some degree of them, I don't know why some would be recycled and others wouldn't except that, as some people have pointed out, there may have been contractual obligations where they were not allowed to do anything but destroy them. Now, I don't actually know all the particulars. Obviously, nobody outside of Funko probably does, and they're not going to be forthcoming with it. But let's assume that either they chose not to or were forced not to recycle or give these away. It really is a a stunning thing to contemplate how wasteful how wasteful we are in general as a society, but in particular the fact that a company would rather just destroy and throw away this many, essentially toys, when there are, I don't even know how many children hospital, children's hospitals in the United States, I'm sure around the world, where they could have brought them as some kind of goodwill gesture and given them away. And if in fact they were contractually forced to, that same thing could apply to the company that forced them to. Why not say, look, there are kids suffering from leukemia or childhood cancer or other, or there are kids refugee camps, children that are displaced from war or famine or whatever else. It's not much, but we could give them something. Why just throw these things away? Just dump them in a landfill after, in some cases, intentionally destroying, all your thoughts about Funko aside, what are basically perfectly good figures. Again, you know, quality judgments and aesthetics aside, there's nothing wrong with them. They weren't defective. They didn't not work or poison kids, unless they ingested, I'm sure. But there was nothing that was inherently wrong with these things. And yet, instead of trying to figure out some at least partially beneficial way to take something that was going to be a write-off or a loss or whatever, because really what this was all about for Funko was that they didn't want to pay to store the items. Okay, that makes some sense as, as a reason to at least initiate this process, but why have it result in simply generating more waste on the planet? Why not figure out some way, something that again would have probably generated positive press if you saw that all these were given away to young sick kids or kids that were suffering in some way. Yes, it's not going to erase all their problems, but it would be better than just tossing them into a landfill. And the fact that this was just done, announced with this casual nature and that nobody sees anything wrong with this, at least not in the general sense. Of course, there are people who don't have any corporate control that don't think it's right, but at the top end, they don't really care because it's all just numbers and a spreadsheet shuffling around. And the fact that that just goes on, I don't really even have the words for it. It is so disheartening that this is what our response to things are, that rather than taking something and trying to make others at least feel a little better, because again, I'm just going the most basic thing. If they're valueless, which they must be, you're shredding them, then just give them away to people who might appreciate them. Children who are sick will take anything to brighten their day. Give them a little plastic figurine and let them have it sitting by their bedside, some character they like or whatever. There were ways to make this work. This is not beyond the ability for people to come up with besides me. And yet, here's where we are. No, video of dump trucks just emptying boxes of these figures that, again... As that exercise, nothing wrong with into a landfill. So great job by these companies taking things that are perfectly good and just tossing them and trashing them for no actual good reason. Later.